Hi, I'm Danny. This is a radio meter. When sunlight or any light strikes its veins, they spin. They can rotate very fast, several thousand times a minute. This is an example of solar energy. I had two ideas on how to use this radio meter. First, I thought of making a giant radio meter. This will be big enough to turn an electrical generator to power an average house. In my research, I learned this idea was not practical because the glass bulb would have to be so big it would cost way too much to make. The giant bulb would cost as much as the average house. The bulb is needed because inside it is a partial vacuum. Outside of the bulb, the veins would not turn because the drag of air resistance would be too great. My second idea was that in the future, a giant radio meter could be built on the moon to power a lunar colony. The moon has no atmosphere, so the costly glass bulb would not be needed. But would a radio meter work on the moon? In my research, I learned that if there was a perfect vacuum inside the bulb, the veins would not spin. How does a radio meter really work? Here's where things get really complicated. It seems that the veins do not turn simply because the stream of sunlight strikes the black veins harder than the white veins. What really happens is that there are some air molecules on the surfaces of the veins. The air on the black veins is hotter than the cool air on the white veins. The hot air has more energy and kicks off the surface of the black veins, causing them to rotate away from the sunlight or any light. It is really a complicated interaction of sunlight with the air molecules inside the bulb and the surfaces of the veins that causes the radio meter to spin. I will come up with a new idea on how to better use the radio meter.